is warming up. I'm gonna check the oil. I'm gonna check the power steering fluid because it's actually already dry. As I have a leak in my steering rack and I have bought something to fix it. And also I have bought something to fix that ticking noise. Let's hope after I actually warm this thing up, I can check the oil and maybe fix it preventively before actually opening it up and changing all the internals. to check my oil and I already bought oil. This is a two the 20 W SI8 2050 2050 Prima XP not indoors and also bought this hydraulic lifter additive. I actually wanted to buy this a long time ago because I heard that it can solve some of the lifter problem but I need to check my engine oil first then I need to put this in after that. Then I need to drive this almost 50k or, or 100 km to make sure it circulates properly. And yeah, let's check on it. So, what I need to do is to check the engine oil. It's actually, I actually did almost 100 km in this last like two weeks, a week ago. And I want to know whether my oil level is still okay or not because I actually put 7 liter in instead of 6.5. 6.5 is maintained by BMW, but 7 liter is mostly what E36 user use now because the oil capacity for this car is actually 7 liter instead of 6.5. It can hold 7 liter. Okay, let's see. There's there's oil. And for you to ask if actually it's still okay, it's, is it okay to check? Well, it's still hot. I think it's still okay. I mean, there should surely some oil, but I'm just gonna top maybe 200 mil in just to make sure. Yep. And I'm just gonna top some of it in. Two hundred milliliter. This is oh, this is one liter. I don't know how much quartz is that in like Okay, now it's open. It's gonna pop. Let's see until the until the thing. for the best. And hello, good morning. Now it's after, it's not, sorry, it's Sunday. I don't know what, I think it's the 6th or 7th. I know, I think it's the 3rd of March. This is the next day, which is literally. Now I'm gonna tell you what happened to my car, actually. And I think I'm ready to say that this bumper right here, it's gonna be off. So I'm gonna sell, actually I'm selling it right now. If you're watching this, it's probably, maybe it's not sold yet or already sold. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it here, so maybe it already sold. So I'm selling the bumper, I'm gonna take it off now. I'm gonna put the old, uh, OEM bumper, not the MTech one, and also this one, this bumper right here, it's not a fiberglass, it's actually a plastic, so maybe it's part number, maybe it's not, 
I'm gonna take it off but before that I need to clean it no after I take it off I need to clean it I need to fix some of the body molding I'm gonna give it a wash and also I'm giving the whole thing a body molding the MTech lips stage one and for like 900,000 rupiah which is all like 80 bucks yeah because I think I have something to do with other uh, plan with the OEM bumper because the OEM bumper is actually looking a bit better with this build rather than the M3 or the MTech and yeah of course I'm gonna take it off now and I'm waiting for MD to come to help me take off the bumper and stuff so let me just open the bumper and take a pictures of for those who want to buy it bumper standar udah kepasang ya karena mau ini sudah lama banget dicopot sejak 2020 sejak gue dapet bumper hentek itu uh, ada pecah-pecah pegelinu dan lain-lainnya coba sini deh <laughs> bagian yang pecah deh gue gak tau kenapa tapi sebagian besar ini isinya dempul semua gimana yang stand yang mtek aja itu bagian sini itu masih plastik coba yang itu dempul semua oke bumper ini udah gue pasang karena bumper ini gue ngambilnya uh, dulu itu semua ya satu body full metallic dan gue bikin ala-ala OEM ini sebenarnya gue temin ya gue temin bagian size cut gue temin juga sama bagian bumper asli yang di belakang bagian tengahannya itu juga gue temin jadi kayak OEM tapi kalau hitam gak cocok sebenarnya sama 36 warna kayak gini hitam tuh cocoknya warna-warna putih atau sil putih sih putih mobil warna putih sih cocok hitam jadi maksudnya ini pakai yang primer grade epoxy doang warna-warna grey gelap cuman nggak uh, bakal gue lakuin itu gue bakal lakuinnya kemungkinan karena ini pecah banyak terus gue juga under budget ini pecah juga bagian situ bahkan juga ada yang pecah jadi harus dicopot juga mau dibenerin harus dilem ulang dan ulang gue akan lakukan dual tone ya mungkin rendernya di sini nih ya, gue kasih render di sini contoh begini pakai lens alpina tapi gue harus jual dulu ke bumper mtek jadi sampai sini dulu videonya karena ini mungkin ide uh, teraneh gue ke tiga enam tiga dua puluh dua ton ala ala gue individual gue lah jadi sampai saja see you later see you in the next part Ah uh -huh.